When describing the DRIAL technology, I mean, the easy way to describe it is it's a drill that can operate around corners. But there's a lot more to it than that. As someone who's been working in the minimally invasive spinal decompression space for over 20 years now, the DRIAL provided an answer to a question that we have been asking and a technology that we have been seeking for over 20 years. We've always been limited by our angle of approach and by the ability to effectively work around curves and corners. Curvature came to us with a variety of these new surgical angles, shapes, curves, and sizes that could turn corners, could work further out into the frame and beyond our straight line of sight, not just by seeing, but by actually working around a curve. Curvature technologies have allowed us to achieve better, more thorough decompressions while still minimizing our unnecessary bone removal and also decreasing soft tissue damage. Uh, there's absolutely no question that this sort of technology in DREAL can provide a, a, an avenue for patients to avoid fusion. And by definition, if we can do that, we de-risk the operation for them and we make it uh, a relatively less expensive intervention, not just for the surgery itself, but the downstream costs uh, that come with complications and adjacent segment disease uh, will be uh, greatly improved by using this sort of technology. There's no question that DREAL technology will have a benefit to the overall economic health system. It is uh, its ability to translate many patients from a more expensive inpatient reconstructive realm to an outpatient decompressive realm will translate into an enormous cost savings for the health system. Spinal decompression is the most common spinal surgery done in the United States and worldwide. Over two to 300,000 lumbar decompressions, for example, are done in the United States yearly. Of them, estimates and studies put 10 to 15% of them will go on to require a second surgery, be it an additional decompression from incomplete decompression the first time or overzealous excessive decompression, thereby destabilizing the patient, thereby leading to a second surgery involving spinal fusion. This represents a tremendous cost to our society. The curvature to real technology, by preserving biomechanical structures, by achieving more thorough around the corner, far out the frame and decompressions, and making sure the patient's nerves are fully decompressed, could potentially lead to hundreds of million dollars of cost savings to the overall healthcare system, not to mention to the smaller individual healthcare network. Well, I think there's no question that this is a, a technology that's here to stay, the Durrell technology. Um, it's obviously useful. I think anybody that holds it in their hands for more than a few moments will, will realize that, particularly for folks who do a minimally invasive spine. I would say to go back to just pure kerosens would be uh, medieval. And if you want to practice surgery back in the 90s, you can do that. But if you want to move forward and use tools that have been developed to improve the decompression, just like you use tools to improve your instrumentation, I think you should take a look at this and try it.